have a new favorite tool in the shop. After building over a thousand cutting and charcuterie boards and years of building custom furniture, I'm finally learning how to take care of this new favorite tool. And because I'm an idiot, I'm finally realizing that if I don't take care of this tool, every other tool in the shop is totally useless. Any guesses what it is? It's not the table saw, I just needed a fresh coat of wax. It's not the bandsaw either, I'm just on a waxing kick. <laughs> we all try to take good care of our tools, and rightly so. They cost a lot of money and uh, require a lot of forgiveness from our spouses. But they allow us to do some... But they allow us to do some pretty incredible things that we wouldn't be able to do otherwise. I mean, we can make beautiful, functional pieces of art with these tools. You know who's really good at taking care of their tools? The military. A lot of you know that Jenny and I are in the military. We're with the Hurricane Hunters. We fly through hurricanes and atmospheric rivers and other weather events with this C-130 for weather research. And some of the planes we fly on are pushing 30 years old. And we fly through rain, wind, hail, we get struck by lightning, lots of crazy stuff happens to these airplanes. And if we didn't have our amazing maintainers working around the clock to keep these airplanes in good shape, we would be screwed. Do you know that's what makes our military so great? I mean, sure, we have plenty of good technology, but our ability to maintain that technology is what sets us apart from every other military in the world. Other countries just can't compete with us on our military maintenance programs. So we're trying to implement some of that military flavor into our own like tool maintenance here in the shop. But there's one tool that we have completely been neglecting. And because we forgot about this tool, uh, our business has really suffered from it. But now it's my new favorite tool. Can you guess what it is? It's me! I'm the tool. That didn't come out right. The most important tool in our shop is me, is my body. And Jenny's body. Don't you bring me into this. And for the last six months to a year, we've been neglecting our bodies and our mindsets. And it's cost us a lot of money. I mean, I've taken better care of this paint scraper by sharpening it. I wax the table on all of my big tools. I, I constantly clean this table saw blade. I'm always changing out sandpaper. Like, I do so much to take care of these other tools, but the one tool that I need in order to operate them, I've been treating like garbage. And then I wonder why our business isn't bigger and it's not growing as fast as we wanted it to. It's because I've neglected my body. At the end of this last year, end of 2022, we got into a pretty bad spot emotionally and physically. It's why we lost motivation to hit the upload button and continue making videos. It's why we weren't able to celebrate an enormous victory of having such a great year in 2022. And it's why we almost abandoned everything and lived in a van down by the river. When you're living in a van down by the river! So chances are, if you're anything like us, you could use a little bit more energy, focus, and creativity. And that starts with a healthy body. Davis and I are headed to the top to make Samara Table Company the next big furniture brand. And on our journey, we've been listening to a ton of podcasts from successful entrepreneurs. And there's a common theme between all of them. At some point, they're all preaching to take care of your mind and your body. I mean, we have read stacks of books and listened to days worth of podcasts. And all of the high-performing business owners are all preaching to take care of your mind and body in order to run a successful business. And the crazy thing is, nobody in the woodworking business community is talking about that. At least not consistently. Listen, if you don't think this is important to your business, I can't convince you to take your health seriously. 
But just know you're making it so much easier for the guy across the street from you who works out three times a week to put you out of business. He just has to wait for your health to catch up with you. He just has to wait for you to get exhausted, tap out, and then he can pass you. Now, for the rest of you, I know what you're thinking. Oh my gosh, Jenny and Davis, you tell us to do so much stuff. How in the world am I supposed to work a full-time job, run my business on the side, and stay healthy on top of that? I know, I hear you. I said the same exact thing. Until we got burned out at the end of this year. I know you've got a busy life, and I, I can't solve your schedule, but I can tell you what we do. And we're pretty busy. We fly through hurricanes, we have our woodworking business, and we have this YouTube channel. We volunteer at church and still have a social life. So for the two people that are still watching and think this is interesting, this is what Jenny and I are doing every single day to take care of our minds and our bodies. Obviously there's tons of stuff out there, but these are the three things that have made the biggest difference to us. We've started doing a morning routine. We've overhauled our diet to be healthier and we're taking mandatory breaks. First off, morning routine. We have a very rigid morning routine now, and it takes about an hour. We spend roughly 10 minutes doing each of the following things. We meditate, we read through our daily affirmations, we read a book, we exercise, we journal, and we visualize what we want the rest of the day to look like. And we do all that before we do anything else. This morning routine sets the tone for the whole day. We're choosing to start our focus on the correct priorities right away in the morning when we wake up. That way, we don't let the chaos of the morning dictate the rest of our day. We don't check email, we don't look at our phones. We choose what we want the day to be about first. And that means we have to wake up a little earlier. The second thing that we do is we are trying to have a healthier diet. No, we're not following any sort of fancy diet trend. I don't have a book recommendation or anything for you, but we're just trying to eat foods that would be recognizable to a caveman. That's sort of our like philosophy. We're trying to minimize processed foods and reduce our sugar intake. So if caveman didn't have access to it, then we probably shouldn't be eating a lot of it. I mean, you are what you eat. How good of a business can you build if you're made of Taco Bell? And the third thing we're doing is taking more mandatory breaks. We have not been good about taking breaks and recharging our minds. So every day, every month, and every quarter, we are forcing ourselves to take some sort of break. And we're rewarding our accomplishments instead of just skipping to the next task. This has gone a long way to helping us avoid burnout. And we get more work done while we're working, despite us taking more breaks. So that's it. That's the three things we're doing to have a more restful and healthier lifestyle. I know it's only three things, but there's a lot wrapped up into it. And you probably still have questions, which is why this week in the stud stack, it is wellness week. And we are going through exactly what we do every day to keep ourselves healthy. We're going to walk through our morning routine step by step and show you exactly what we do. We're going to share our meal prep strategies. We're even going to give you some of the recipes that we use to meal prep. And we're gonna tell you our secrets to carving out time for vacation and breaks, even with our busy schedule. Anyway, links down below in the description, cool kids only. We're gonna have a great time talking about what we do to keep ourselves going. But if nothing else, please take care of yourself. Do something that makes your body feel better. Because if nobody has told you recently, I will. You're important. There are people that love you and care about you. I love you and I care about you. And I want you to be the best version of yourself. So if you're running a business and it depends on you, then take care of you. Ask me how I do it, I just stick to the